Hello, and welcome to your very own guide on how to find a good accountant. The process for finding a good accountant starts by leveraging your own social network and your connections. So that means asking other business owners, colleagues, or friends that might be able to recommend an accountant that they have worked with before and trust enough to recommend to you. The next step on your search process is to ensure you are looking for someone who has the right qualifications and credentials to handle your business's needs. Look for certifications such as CPA, Certified Public Accountant, or CA, Chartered Accountant. Next is to look for experience, which is completely to your advantage. You want to look for someone who has experience working with businesses like yours. This can help ensure that they understand the unique financial needs of your industry. Consider your communication style and find an accountant who communicates in a way that works well for you. There is so much value in finding someone who will take the time to ensure that you understand your business's finances and help you make informed decisions. Make sure you understand the accountant's fee structure and consider if it is reasonable for the services that they provide. To do this, it is suggested that you interview multiple accountants, which is next up on this list. It is suggested that you interview three to five accountants because not all are created equal, even the designated ones. So research and understand your needs and consider using this checklist as a starting point to get to know your potential new accountant. Last but not least is to consider the first year as a trial period. So reflect on the year. Was it a productive, value-added experience? Did you feel listened to, supported, and informed? Your first accountant doesn't need to be your last one. And while it may require a significant amount of time invested to find a good accountant due to variables such as finding the right fit, you may decide after the first year you would like a new accountant and that is okay. Just be sure to not sign any contracts for longer than you are comfortable with and to inform your accountant you wish to move elsewhere once you have found a new one, as they will help make the transition a smooth one. Here are some additional resources to expand that checklist we covered in the last slide. The first is by Forbes Advisor, which is their 2023 guide to finding a small business accountant. So this article defines what small business accounting is and what it entails and what small business accountants do and even points out some red flags and things that you should be aware of during your search process. The second link is by Sage as part of their Money Matters blog. It covers some of the concepts in our checklist and then some and highlights the importance of finding someone who is able to align with your business goals and be a supporting member of your team, especially when you're paying them to do so. And the last two links required a paid subscription, one to Globe and Mail and the other to New York Times. If you have those, I highly suggest checking these out. I wish you all the best on your search process to finding a new good accountant.